having developed a way of estimating the first order energy corrections for a degenerate uh, set of eigenstates, we're going to look at how this is applied in practice by considering uh, the following example. So we're looking at a coupled quantum mechanical two-dimensional harmonic oscillator where the coupling will be considered as a perturbation. And we wanna find the first order corrections to the energies of the first excited states. So for this system, for a two-dimensional harmonic oscillator, one that's not coupled, the Hamiltonian is given by this expression. The energy eigenstates or the stationary states, uh, they are typically denoted by two quantum numbers. One that tells you the energy level uh, in X and the other one that tells you the energy level in Y. And these eigenstates have energies that depend on both of these quantum numbers is given by nx plus ny plus one h bar omega naught where nx and ny can vary from zero, one, two, all the way to uh, infinity. Uh, the stationary states in the position basis So uh, we're going to loosely denote the position basis by a single variable X, but this is uh, two dimensional. So this is uh, Psi, which depends on two quantum numbers and it's two dimensional. So X and Y. The general expression for this is as follows. So you have some numerical factors over here. Beta x squared plus y squared divided by two. Times h and x beta x, h and y beta y. Here beta is the square root of the mass of the oscillator, its natural frequency and Planck's constant. The agents denote the Hermit polynomials. And uh, the values of these Hermit polynomials can typically be looked up in mathematical tables. And then to this problem, we're going to consider adding a perturbation that couples uh, the X and Y dimensions. And what this looks like is one half X, Y, X squared plus Y squared, such that uh, our new Hamiltonian will uh, be the original unperturbed system plus this small perturbation that's tuned by our parameter lambda. And we wanna find the first order energy corrections to the first excited states. So the first excited states are when nx is equal to one and ny is equal to zero. This is typical, we're going to denote this uh, as 
a cat where we replace each quantum number by its corresponding value. And the second uh, excited state or the second possible first excited state will be when nx is equal to zero and ny is equal to zero. And this one will denote by zero one. And the energies of these states, right, so energy of one zero and energy of state zero one, the unperturbed one, they're equal to one another and they have a value of two h bar omega naught. So these are the first excited states of the two dimensional harmonic oscillator are degenerate. So to be able to find the first order correction to this energy, we're going to use degenerate perturbation theory. So the idea will be to build up our matrix delta H and find the eigenvalues. And we'll also find the, uh, the good states that will diagonalize this Hamiltonian, the, this perturbation uh, by finding the eigenvectors of our matrix delta H. And we'll take that up in the next video.